My name is Andrew Galvin, and I happen to have the prestigious responsibility of being curator here at Mission Dolores in San Francisco. Mission Dolores, which was founded by Junipero Serra and Fray Francisco Palo in 1776, is where my ancestors became Christian. The anthropological record tells us that human people have been on the North American continent for about 13,000 years. In San Francisco proper, the archaeologists tell us human occupation goes back about 3,000, perhaps as far back as 4,000 years ago. There were about 60 Indians, 16 Ohlones, living at the village that we know as Chuchui. That was the village right there that's about two blocks from our current mission. There are many reasons native peoples come to a mission. The best one that I've understood is that at a certain point, each tribal group, each family had to make a decision to survive. And that choice involves leaving the old world, as it were, and moving into the new one, which is a mission. And then it's very clear, once you make that choice to move into the mission, you can never go back. You can never return to the way it was before. My ancestry is tied to this place. My faith is also tied to this place. Um, for many years of my life, I was a member of the Franciscan province of Santa Barbara. I was a brother. So what I'm trying to do during my time here at Mission Dolores and the people with me at Mission Dolores is to qualify history. We're not trying to change it. We're simply trying to qualify it to tell what really happened. So what I ask is, can we say at a California mission, the Indians, under the supervision, under the direction of the Padres, built the missions. That's qualifying history, to give the native peoples their proper place within the context of what happened at a mission.